you know what? I, I would assume homecomings and reunions would grant some closure for people. It's the ghosts of all the relationships that you had. It's just sort of a reminder of what things were like a long time ago and who you were and what you're like now. And everything that we're seeing in this is true. You have the jocks that have become a little bit big and you have the, you know, the nerds that have turned into real cool dudes. All that kind of stuff is kind of true from what I experienced in life. I think that's the interesting thing about homecomings and reunions. It can be an eye-opening experience. <laughs>I think what Smallville has always been great at from the minute Alan Miles wrote the first script was really getting into what it was like to go through the struggles of this perfect hero who lives in a very imperfect world. We started looking at it emotionally from that point of view and also why isn't he flying? Why isn't he getting further down the road? And usually there's like a personal hang up and so that's really where the idea for the show is germinating. You're dealing with not only the intricacies of growing up but you're dealing with people finding themselves and realizing what they're made of and realizing what they do want, what they don't want, and what they can't have. The genius of this show is that we meet Superman before he's a man when he's still figuring himself out and so he is vulnerable because of his ignorance. Many uh, things started really happening in Clark's mind and in his soul and his, and his whole persona that he really needed to find answers to more than just that, but you know, what the big picture was and what his purpose was in life. Part of the 200th was a thank you to the origins of the show and also to all the fans who've stuck around for so long. Come on, did you forget? Tomorrow's our Smallville High reunion. Well, there were a lot of different factors that came into the 200th episode. Brian had been wanting to do a high school reunion since last year. We had been holding off on a homecoming episode until this season. We'd actually thought about it a couple years in a row. We thought it would be the perfect way to kind of encapsulate where we've been and then where we're going. We wanted to go back and see moments of our characters from a long time ago and see how far they've come in 200 episodes. I think it's enriching. What happens is uh, you find out more also about yourself in that experience and who you are. It's frightening at, at the beginning to go back. Just go. What, you, what you'll see, what you'll learn about yourself maybe from that is be amazing. For us, the 200th was a real journey for Clark. We knew we were going to go back and see these pivotal moments. We all thought, what is the most quintessential Lana moment? There's no question about it. So what are you? Man or Superman? You know, what is the biggest Jonathan Lionel moment? Those are such epic moments that it's hard to, you know, match that. It doesn't have huge super saves or anything like that. It's almost like a Christmas carol, allowing Clark to look through his life in the past and the, in the future and resolve some issues with relationships in the past and all that kind of stuff. It became an episode focusing on the internal Clark Kent, who he really is at his core, what's really holding him back, what's going to be pushing him forward, what is he ignoring in his life and sort of an examination of him as a character. This guy is our, our little voodoo doll that we built for this episode. It was built in our construction department by our construction members. And then our paint department painted Clark. This had been cut a couple times throughout the script. It was a beginning that I think is very compelling. What happens is you're with this counselor who has a voodoo doll of Clark. And, and no, no matter how crazy they are, they always mention one person. And she takes a pin, she's gonna do a bad thing to him, and suddenly she throws papers in the air, and time freezes, and all the papers are hanging in the air, and then Brainiac arrives, and then you reveal him. Leave Clark Kent to me. They took it out, and then I said, we should put it back, because it was a very good opening. It was very gripping, it was original, and it was kind of different. So we put it back. I'm very happy we have it back, because I think it's a terrific opening. Lois convinces Clark to go to his high school reunion, even though he has his doubts. And she also kind of calls it her high school reunion as well, and that's part of the tongue-in-cheek joke, of course, because she never Lady. really went to school there. Lois Lane, chess club. Uh, I sat through an entire game once. Whatever. Come on, let's go. I don't